In terms of the student role in digital education, I would say first and foremost, this is to be active and to engage with it. There's no point having the technology in place to enhance learning and teaching if students aren't utilising it. For student interest in digital education, I would say this is mainly down to how it facilitates learning. Yes, it has its perks and how it enhances user experience, but I think what it comes down to is how using technology can make learning easier for students. It is such an essential part of the university experience now to the point where we probably don't even realise it because it's almost second nature to us. But it's something we engage in day to day, whether that's by accessing material or resources through the virtual learning environment or having our timetables available online, as well as the capability of getting directions straight to a lecture theatre. It gives students a lot more freedom in their approach to learning as, whilst you may have your lectures or tutorials timetabled in for a certain time, there's a certain amount of flexibility in how you work outside of these hours with what's available online. I feel digital education makes the student experience a lot more streamlined. With a virtual learning environment, you have all this information and resources in one easy to access place. It gives you so much more freedom time-wise for when you want to work as you aren't restricted to when you're timetabled in for a lecture, seminar or for a member of staff's office hours. In the classroom, and in particular the lecture theatre, the use of technology can encourage interaction and make learning somewhat more accessible. For example, when you have the ability to be able to ask questions via technology, which can allow you to ask these questions anonymously, it takes away the fear of speaking out for some people and so can make the learning environment more inclusive and enhanced in that sense. Also, technology enhanced learning isn't just specific to universities. It is something that happens in a lot of workplaces and as students, we are expected to have a certain level of ability with technology, so engaging with digital education is giving us skills for life after graduation. Although it has to be considered that not everyone has access to the devices which enable them to get involved with digital education, so this is something universities need to be conscious of. My advice to students would be to be open to it. Of course encountering something new can be confusing or even intimidating, but both blended and online learning do play vital roles in higher education and I think they will continue to do this, so it's just a matter of students understanding the benefits of these methods of learning. I would say to give it time, and I feel that it's something students will then come to realise is a huge benefit to them once they are more confident in their abilities. Both blended and online learning place an emphasis on independent learning, and so there may be fear that the lack of face-to-face -face contact with staff or even other students takes away from the learning experience. But I feel that with regards to blended learning especially, there is a more realistic approach to learning in that it realises not everything in education revolves around what happens in the classroom. Then with online learning, the independent work is obviously more intense, but with that comes an online community of others in the same boat. So I think in terms of considerations, it is something students need to think about themselves, whether it is something that may suit their lifestyle and approach to learning. Personally, I think e-assessment is important, but it is dependent on a number of different things, such as the weighting or type of assessment. Having a piece of assessment weighted as 100% solely online doesn't seem to be the most appropriate, unless it is something like an online submission of an essay, which is an advantage of e-assessment, as it is a lot more environmentally friendly and sustainable than, for example, printing out a dissertation. It also eliminates the need of printing countless exam papers when these assessments could be carried out online. Having the assessments online like this could also speed up marking in some cases as, for example, if it's a numerical value as an answer, then the machine will be able to tell if it's correct or not. Even in the case of handwritten work, having these assessments online removes the attempts of deciphering someone's handwriting, so there are positives on the staff side of things as well. E-assessment can also be good in that sometimes you're allowed the option to leave and come back to the assessment, so it doesn't have to be completed all in one sitting, which again gives students more flexibility in their learning. I do feel, however, that e-assessment should take the form of more frequent, lesser weighted pieces of assessment. I think this will be keeping in line with how digital education supports active student learning and goes beyond simply memorising material to be reiterated in one setting on one assessment.